Hi there, today we're going to talk about some of the classic and modern audio connectors. While many different types have been invented over the years, but in this video we're just going to talk about the most popular ones. So, the first one is XLR connector. This robust and reliable connector is primarily used for balanced microphones and professional audio setups. It is also found in video and stage lighting equipment. The modern XLR design with its locking latch was introduced in 1955 by Canon Electric. XLR connectors provide high-quality, low-noise audio transmission over long distances. They are available in many versions, from 2-pin to 7-pin and beyond, and also in many sizes such as TA3, TA4, TA5, TA6, and TA8. The most common version is the 3-pin XLR, wired with pin 1 for ground, pin 2 for the positive hot signal, and pin 3 for the negative cold signal. The 4-pin XLR is often used for broadcast headsets and DC power, while the 5-pin XLR is widely used in stage lighting with DMX512 protocol and some stereo microphones. The 6-pin and 7-pin versions appear in specialized systems like intercoms and tube condenser microphones. Today, XLR remains the worldwide standard for live sound in DJ and concert setups. Speak on connector. This connector was designed by Nutrick and introduced in 1987 specifically for connecting loudspeakers to amplifiers. It offers a safe, secure, and high current connection for speaker level signals, featuring a robust twist locking mechanism that prevents accidental disconnection. Speak on connectors are differentiated by their number of poles, with three main types available NL2, 2 pole, NL4, 4 pole, and NL8, 8 pole. The most common version is the NL4, with contacts labeled plus one, minus one, plus two, and minus two which allows either two separate channels or by amping a single speaker through one cable. The NL2 is used for basic single-channel connections, while the NL8 is reserved for complex, multi-amplified systems. Thanks to its reliability and safety, SpeakOn has become the worldwide standard for professional PA systems and stage equipment. Bantam Connector This connector also called the TT or Tiny Telephone. It was introduced in the 1960s for use in professional audio patch bays where engineers needed to fit a large number of connections into a compact space. With a diameter of 4.4 mm, it looks like a miniature version of the standard headphone connector. Like other phone connectors, it comes in TS and TRS forms. The TS version carries unbalanced mono, while the TRS version supports balanced audio with tip for positive, ring for negative, and sleeve for ground, allowing clean low-noise signals. Its smaller size and rugged build make it ideal for constant patching in racks, where space is at a premium. The Bantam Jack remains the industry standard for high-density patch bays in professional studios and broadcast facilities. DIN Connector This connector was developed in Germany in the mid-1950s and became very common in European audio equipment from the 1960s through the 1980s. It offers reliable unbalanced analog audio quality for its era, handling low signal levels for playback and microphone inputs, with some versions supporting power supply or remote control. There are many types available from 3-pin to 5-pin, 7 and 8-pin, and beyond. Plus variants with different angles like 180 degrees, 240 degrees and 270 degrees with bayonet locking. There are also smaller versions like Mini DIN for PS2 keyboards and S-Video. The most popular for audio was the 5-pin 180 degrees version, pin 1 carries left input, pin 4 carries right input, pin 2 is the common ground, while pins 3 and 5 carry left and right outputs. This allowed a single connector to handle both playback and recording between tape decks, amplifiers, and other consumer gear. Toslink It was introduced by Toshiba in 1983 for consumer CD players. Toslink is short form of Toshiba Link, is an optical fiber physical connector that carries the SBDIF digital audio bitstream. It comes in two main forms, standard and mini. The standard Toslink features a square plug with a protective shutter. It can deliver uncompressed two-channel PCM, and compressed surround bitstreams like Dolby Digital and DTS. It was originally designed around 44.1 kHz for CD audio compatibility, but many devices reliably support up to 24-bit 96 kHz, and some modern hardware can pass 192 kHz. Toslink is bandwidth limited compared with HDMI, and therefore cannot carry Blu-ray lossless formats such as Dolby True HD or DTS HDMA. Those require HDMI. The Mini Toslink uses a 3.5mm jack form factor and was used in portable players and laptops, but today it is considered a legacy port. The standard Toslink connection remains very common on home theater systems and sound bars. Headphone Connector The headphone connector family comes in four main sizes, 
the large 6.35 mm, common 3.5 mm, compact 2.5 mm, and the newer 4.4 mm Pentacon designed for balanced headphones. These appear as both jacks on devices and plugs on cables, with their metal shafts divided by insulating rings that define how many conductors they carry. The simplest form is the TS, or tip sleeve connector, usually in 6.35 mm size, which handles unbalanced mono signals such as electric guitars. Adding one ring creates TRS, or tip ring sleeve, most often in 3.5 mm, where the tip carries the left channel, the ring carries the right, and the sleeve is ground. This is the universal stereo plug found on most headphones and computers. Another ring gives TRS, commonly in 3.5 mm and sometimes 2.5 mm, which adds a microphone channel for headsets and smartphones. The rare TRRS version, most often in 2.5 mm form and also seen in 4.4 mm balanced Pentacon connectors, provides five conductors for balanced headphone wiring, VR headsets, or devices needing extra channels. The analog 3.5 mm TRS and TRRS jacks remain the global standard for headphones and headsets. Binding post. This terminal or connector have been in use since the early 1900s and remain a standard way to connect speakers. The modern 5-way type was introduced in the late 1940s by General Radio. A binding post consists of a central threaded metal rod with a screw-down cap, often color-coded red for positive and black for negative. It is primarily used on loudspeakers, amplifiers, offering a secure, low-resistance connection for clear audio transfer. The most common version is the 5-way binding post, which can accept banana plugs, bare wire, spade lugs, pin connectors, or alligator clips. This versatility made it an enduring choice, and binding posts often paired with banana plugs are still standard on amplifiers and speakers today. Phoenix Connector It is also commonly known as a Euroblock, and is widely used in professional audio for its compact and reliable design. It features a removable screw terminal block that plugs into a fixed header on the device, allowing installers to wire the plug once and then quickly connect or disconnect it without rehandling the screws. Versions range from 2-pin to 12-pin or more. The 3-pin type is most common in audio, typically wired as positive, hot, negative, cold, and ground or shield for balanced lines, while the exact pinout is determined by the equipment manufacturer and labeled on the device. Simpler 2-pin blocks are often used for speakers or power and four pin or larger versions can carry stereo pairs or multiple balance channels because of its convenience and reliability. The Euroblock has become the standard connector on pro audio gear designed for permanent installations, such as amplifiers, DSP units, and mixing consoles. So that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about the basic audio and video connectors then you can watch this video.